I believe that 2024 is going to be a huge year for development in Panama City Beach. Why? Let's look at Highway 79 as a direct development corridor. You got new neighborhoods, you got hospitals, you have an expanding airport. So where are all these people gonna flood to when it comes down to new restaurants and amenities? Everybody's gonna come to Pier Park as they've been for a long time. So what changes are coming to Pier Park that we can expect from one, as an investor that we can promote for short-term rentals, and as two, you know, local residents, what can we then enjoy in our area that's a little bit different than we've been doing for a while? Let's get right into it. So both tourists and locals alike love to go to Pier Park for shopping and entertainment. But the biggest thing that I can do is talk about what's new and what's coming to the area so that you as a local or next time you're visiting Panama City Beach, you can enjoy everything the area has to offer. Starting off, we're gonna do some rapid fire, three new things coming to Pier Park. We're looking at Pier Park West. It's gonna be a new plaza with four restaurants and one retail space directly behind the Chipotle. The four restaurant spaces are gonna be really nice to have. It hasn't been disclosed who exactly is going in there just yet or in terms of the retail space as well, but it's nice to know this is gonna be a brand new addition. The St. Joe Company just announced plans for a new Barnes & Noble bookstore to open in the Pier Park North Retail Center. Plans call for the bookstore to open in early spring of 2024. This is going to be a great ad because the closest place that we can really get to a Barnes & Noble is going to be in Destin. So it's going to be great for our community over there in Panama City Beach. But also, let's look at the biggest new development coming to Panama City Beach in the Pier Park area specifically, Topgolf. Panama City Beach Planning Board members approved the plans to bring the first Topgolf to the Florida Gulf Coast. Plans call for the 38,000 square foot facility to be built on 11.3 acres. Topgolf is planned for a plot of lot behind the Walmart by Pier Park. The front of the building will face Powell Adams Road. Design plans show a two-story building with more than 70 tee pads or bays, a full restaurant, a bar, a mini golf area, and an outdoor patio. Top Golf representative Todd Waldo said a multi-million dollar investment upwards at $26 million will create about 150 jobs during construction, 300 jobs once they're open and operational, and estimating about 200,000 visitors per year coming to this venue alone. Construction of the facility is expected to start in early 2024 with its opening in the spring of 2025. So again, I'm looking at everything by Pier Park. We have Calypso, Sterling Breeze, a lot of these major condo developments. Here is a new amenity that you should be adding into your short-term rental listing. And especially when it's fully operational, it's gonna be a great value add for your renters. If you're looking at coming to the area, I highly recommend checking out the new Residence Inn. The St. Joe Company Intermountain Management LLC have formed a joint venture to design, develop, construct, and own a limited service hotel right here in Pier Park built by Cardella Construction. The current plan calls for a 121 suite Residence Inn by Marriott to be managed by Intermountain. The hotel's location on the north side of Highway 98 near the intersection of Pier Park it's convenient for families traveling on vacation as well for business travelers. Guests will be within walking distance of nearby shopping and dining and of course our beaches, but as well as the Frank Brown Park Sports Complex and event site directly behind it. It's going to be a great addition to Pier Park overall. If you have any questions about any of these developments, as always, please feel free to reach out. The reason we make these videos is so that you're the most informed buyer or seller when it comes down to your real estate investment. And I'd love to talk to you about how these developments pertain to your property's value and what we can start to see as we move into 2024 here in Panama City Beach.